Hey guys, it's me again, Greg Bossen. Welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy Quick Tips. This is the tip for April of 2018. This thing gets emailed to people that are part of our little email newsletter, Quick Tips. Has a little YouTube video embedded in it. Teaches you something about QuickBooks. So you may have either gotten the email or just found us online through YouTube. And we'll show you how you can sign up for these things to get sent to you once a month. But anyway, in April 2018, I decided we're going to talk about memorizing reports. So, you know, in QuickBooks, there are so many reports that you can look at. There are literally hundreds of them. Well, I don't know about hundreds, but there's there's over a hundred for sure. Why don't we count them? No. But anyway, there's all these, yet you still can't find exactly the one that you want, right? It's quite annoying. And so the goal of memorizing a report is to kind of create your own reports so that you can get them whenever you need without having to go to one that's in existence and then change it to be what you want every single month or every single week or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to custom, I'm going to go to a report that's existing. That's what you want to do. If you want to kind of create your own memorized report, you go to a report that has some of what you need and then you customize it, change it around, change the title, add or subtract anything you want to, maybe even change the font, make it be exactly what you want, and then you memorize it so you don't have to worry about it again. So I'm going to go ahead and click the just standard profit and loss. There's all kinds of reports you might want to memorize, but I'll just do a standard profit and loss. And notice how when I pop it up, it's always this month to date. So the first thing I'll say is, you know, I don't want it this month to date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this first and then I'll memorize it. So let's say I want it this fiscal year to date. So that typically I want to kind of have it year to date. Now, this organization, their fiscal year begins July 1. Yours may be January 1. But anyway, that's why it's showing us that. And today's date for this training, for this uh, little video, is June 30, 2020. So we'll act like it's June 30, 2020. That's why it's going to that date because my computer system thinks that's today. But anyway, so we got it this fiscal year to date. And let's say I don't want it accrual-based. I want it cash-based. So I can just change it right there. I could also... That's actually something they added in version 2018 of QuickBooks. You could also go up here to add it. And actually, this is where you can do a lot of your customizing. Here's where I could have changed the date here and changed the report basis there. Some of the customizing they put right on the form, but the rest of it is it's also in the little customize report button window. So I push this button. This is where I got. There's all sorts of things you can do here. And my goal isn't to teach you all the different modifications you can make to a report. It's more about memorizing a report but let's just go ahead and make a couple of changes here i like to add the previous year and then the dollar amount so when i look at that then it gives me this year to date and then that year to date and then the change so that's kind of cool so then i will see header footer i'll change the title of it profit and loss compared to prior year and now up here, it has the date prepared in the basis. I could remove that if I wanted to. Report basis, date prepared. Then it wouldn't be here, but I kind of like to add it there. You see it changed the title. Just kind of showing you the different things you can do here with the customization. It's kind of cool. I like that. I also like the time prepared because if you print it more than once in a day, this way you'll know which one was your last one. See? 2.24 p.m. All right, and then let's see. If you want to change the fonts and the numbers, we'll go over here. It's kind of weird. Um, we can make the any red, any uh, negative letters show in, any negative numbers show in red. We can change the negative numbers to be in parentheses or with the minus behind it. I like it ahead of it. Uh, we can actually show all the numbers divided by a thousands, uh, by a thousand, that's cool. Or we can show it without cents. Can do that let's do that there we go so that's kind of cool i think i like it better with the pennies <laughs> just playing around here go in the fonts and numbers and then now to change the font it's kind of weird you pick an area and you change everything in that area now the main area is the report data so i'll click on that change font and then this is where you can change the font. Now make it Baskerville, old face, and make it 10. And when you click on that, it says, do you want to change the related fonts? 
Lord only knows what they think the related fonts are, but I'll take a chance. What the heck? Fonts aren't that important anyway. Here we go. All right. So now we've got our little report. So let's say that this is how we want to see it every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to memorize it. So I click Memorize, and it suggests the title of the memorized report, and it always assumes that you want it to be the same as the title that's actually on the report. That sounds good to me. So I'll click OK. It just took a picture of it. And now make sure you understand, when I memorize it, it doesn't memorize the actual data. It memorizes all of the formats, the fonts, the styles, what's on the report, but not the data itself. Because when I print this out a year from now, I'm gonna, not going to want the fiscal year to date today. I want the fiscal year to date a year from now. And so it rebuilds the report using all of the, the memorized formatting and all the stuff that you change. So let me exit out of here. So the point is now... When I click on here to do a report, if you go to Memorized Reports, you will see your Memorized Report right there. And you can pop it up at any point. Okay, And again, it changes the data if you're in a future date. All right? Now, I want to add a little bit more here. These Memorized Reports are actually in a list. And when you very first get QuickBooks, you're, you'll already have a bunch of Memorized Reports. And they'll be in these groups. Here's the accountant group with a bunch of memorized reports here and the banking group with a bunch of... First thing I want you to do is go to the memorized report list itself. Here's the list itself. And you will see... Let me scroll down to the bottom here. There's my report here. It's the only one that's not part of a group. You can create these groups and then kind of organize your reports within a group. I'm actually going to go over here to the memorized report button and I'm going to click new group and I'm going to click my cool reports okay maybe I put my name here whoops Greg's Greg's cool reports there we go and now what I can do is I can click this report and you see the little little diamonds that means you can move this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the diamond, move it up, let it go, and move it in one, and now it's part of that group. Okay. And the benefit of this is I can add other reports to this group. Uh, let's see. I'll just add here my donors and grants report. Go ahead and move it out of that group by clicking it and moving it to the left. And then going down under Greg's cool reports, I'm just kind of dragging it, dropping it, and then clicking it, moving it in one. Now it's part of the group. The reason why I wanted to go here is, number one, to show you the groups, but also to show you that there's going to be a lot of groups here that already have things in them that you didn't create. QuickBooks gives them to you. And this is supposed to be your memorized report list, and yet it has a bunch of stuff on here that you didn't create. So I'm going to encourage you from this list, delete every single one of these things except the ones that you yourself created now obviously i can't sit and delete all of them but i'm going to go ahead and delete the one here at the bottom here delete you can actually push Control d if you see here there's a little Control d right there so i can just kind of push Control d and it'll be a little bit quicker Wow, I can actually do a lot of these all at once but this is what i would encourage you to do to get rid of these ones that aren't yours so that your memorized report list isn't full of a bunch of junk I know it's full of a bunch of junk uh, skip over this one then go to employees and all of these reports that are in here are in the regular part of the program so don't be scared to delete them from this list you can get to them in the regular part of the program all right I think I'll be done for now because just got a few more. Anyway, the point is, now when I go to Memorized Reports to pull it up, now I have my own little label here, and these are my two reports, which is pretty cool. Okay? So uh, let me just pull this up again. There you go. So that is your Memorized Reports. Very powerful tool. There's more on this, but I think that's good enough for now. Call QuickBooks or email or 
just go to our website, QuickBooks Made Easy, and contact us if you have any more questions, any comments, uh, you need any help with your QuickBooks, or you just want to sign up to get these things once a month. And I will talk at you later.